Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our webinar on the effectiveness of the common elements treatment approach in treating unhealthy alcohol use and comorbid mental health problems among people living with HIV in Zambia. In short, the ZCAP study. I am your host, Anjali Sharma, Senior Research Technical Advisor at the Center for Infectious Disease Research, uh, Zambia, CIDRS. I have also had the privilege of being site PI on this study. Today I will remind us of the intertwined uh, epidemics of unhealthy alcohol use, mental health and HIV. After which Stephanie Skavinsky will introduce us to CETA, what it is and why we chose to pilot it. Ms. Kavinsky is Research Associate at the Johns Hopkins University, Baltimore, and has helped develop and refine CETA for use in the Global South, including in fragile states such as Iraq. In Zambia, she has also trained trainers of CETA counselors, making our study feasible. Ms. Tukia Kangua will share stakeholder perspectives collected before and after the CETA effectiveness trial. She started as a research fellow in CIDRS and went on to coordinate our project. She continues to work with our team and has independently with fellow scientist Tiku Banda won a grant to address stigma, stigma and mental health issues arising among COVID-19 survivors. This was possible under the able tutelage of Drs. Kane and Vinikor, both PIs on this study. Dr. Kane, who is an assist, assistant professor at the Columbia University, has a long history of validating tools and scales to measure behavior and mental health conditions such as depression in Zambia. This has culminated in this effectiveness trial, the results of which he will share with us today. Finally, Dr. Vinikor, who is an infectious disease specialist, both at the University of Alabama and at CIDRS, and serves as co-PI on this study, will lead us through the conclusions and next steps based on his long history of living in Zambia and working on HIV and liver disease uh, in our country. After the presentations, we'll take questions. F please feel free to post some in the chat box. Also, we request that everyone kindly keep their mics muted. So what do we know about alcohol, mental health, and HIV? For those of us living in Zambia, it may come as no surprise that amongst those who consume alcohol, many have unhealthy drinking, drinking patterns. One study suggests that possibly unhealthy alcohol use is higher in Zambia than in other sub-Saharan African countries, and that a higher proportion of people living with HIV may have unhealthy alcohol use compared to the general population. Studies and programs in, Jam in Zambia and in the region confirm that alcohol and HIV are not a good mix. Unhealthy alcohol use promotes HIV transmission. It also reduces each step in the HIV care cascade. People with unhealthy alcohol are more likely to have symptoms of psychiatric disorders and mood disorders like depression, anxiety, PTSD, and or use other substances. Comorbidities can undermine efforts to reduce alcohol use. And in, amongst people living with HIV, these comorbidities can also in, uh, independently undermine adherence and retention to ART. Thus, we sought to test whether CETA, the Common Elements Treatment Approach, could be effective in addressing unhealthy alcohol use with or without mental health issues among patients in Zambia who are on ARVs. So at this point, I'm going to hand over to Stephanie Skavinsky, who will tell us more about CETA, what it is, and why we chose to do it. 